No te frotes, no te rasques. Oh no, cuantas más. Javier is not concerned with risk factors, opportunities, or his future potential right now. After all, he's only three. Y contento a la escuela voy hoy. But the Family Relief Nursery in Cottage Grove and Javier's family are aware, and they're doing something about it. We're in a program that is about prevention. It's about preventing what could be that could really stunt that potential and, and giving them the tools that they need to really just flourish as citizens. And we all gain by that. Javier, like many children from Crestwell, takes the bus to Cottage Grove several times a week to be part of the Family Relief Nursery Program. Risk factors may include things like domestic violence and substance abuse, mental illness. They may also include special education or special health needs. There, we assess 43 risk factors. The need for a relief nursery in Crestwell is growing. The city is excited about the idea and offering space as the anchor tenant in the future Cobalt Building. The Crestwell Relief Nursery would be a satellite of the Cottage Grove Nursery. Managing through Cottage Grove saves money and brings in much needed service to the Crestwell community. The city and the, the churches and the um, parent groups, all the school district, all of them have been very, very supportive. But it does take time to kind of build that necessarily financial support. And um, so it'll be a, a, a two or three year process. Javier is working on relating to his peers, learning English, and reducing potential risks by attending the nursery. I want him to be able to play with, well with other kids, also to learn the language, and also to learn more stuff. <laughs> the classes, the guidance, the support all matter to families that just need a little help. You know, we've been around for 18 years, and what we've seen in those families is an incredible ability to reduce their risk within a very short time. <laughs> the Relief Nursery really can help change a community, one family at a time. It's an investment in early childhood education that pays off in the short and long term. I mean, we've served more than 1,300 kids here in 18 years, and that's just the kids that come here, not their families and their extended families. The potential, the ripple effect is amazing. For now, that's more information than Javier needs. He has books to read and games to play. We'll just knock on doors and go to parent meetings and um, make sure that there's awareness. But while he's learning English and how to relate to other kids, the nursery will be planning for his future and the future of other children in Cresswell. It will be very nice if we can have a relief nursery here. Because it's not just for me that will help my kid, but it will help another uh, people in the community. 